Yo, what is going on guys? It is your boy Pup coming back with week five of the GWA low tier league. This week we are taking on Wolf Haley. Uh, and we've been doing pretty good so far, 4-0. We picked up a big dub over offline last week. If you haven't watched that, might as go watch all those videos, even though you know that I won. Um, but check out all the other draft content on the channel. Check out check out the Nuzlocke stuff that's going on too. We really appreciate that. And I mean, we're looking to hit 100 subscribers. We're closing in, so please be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Uh, if you guys don't want to look at the team builder, then you guys can skip to the battle with the timestamp that's on screen right now. But without further ado, let's go over what I'm bringing. Uh, first, I'm going to look at what they have, obviously. So uh, they have Cobalion, they've got Flagon, they have Delphox. Whimsicott, Morpico, Serena, and then the four tier captains are Dreadnought, Meloetta, Arbok, and Shelgon. And their tier types, uh, the Dreadnought's Watergrass Stellar, okay, Meloetta's Psychic Fairy, Arbok is Poison, Dark Water, and Shelgon is uh, Dragon, Steel, and Ghost. All right, pretty interesting tier captains there. Um, this is probably the worst matchup I've had so far, um, actually by far, I would say. Um, but I still think we can do it. We still got a lot of really good uh, threats into them, including this uh, Yan Mega. We're rocking a Terra Ground set. I uh, cannot speak. But I've got Throat Spray with Speed Boost, Protect, Terra Blast, Bug Buzz, Air Slash. Uh, we put in a lot of work versus their team. If we can get set up, we can actually just sweep through it. Um, they really don't have anything that eats plus one hits from me and KOs me back, especially after I'm Terra Grounded. Uh, because we're knocking out like the Whimsicott, we're knocking out the Serena with our Air Slash or Bug Buzz. And, uh, you know, the rest of the other stuff can't really hit me that hard. We got Bramble Gas next. Uh, we have Rocky Helmet. This is just so we beat Serena, so it can't like just triple axle freely into me and it takes a lot of chip. I mean, we can also like potentially do some chip back to Cobalion, to Dreadnought. Um, this is really my switch into that Cobalion as well because it's a big threat into my team. And we're Strength Sap, Poltergeist, Power Whip, and Rapid Spin. I didn't feel like I could fit Spikes on this set, even though it would be amazing for this team because Chip is so nice. Um, they have really good hazard control with Serena. They have more Pico as well. Um, they have some pretty good rockers. So, I mean, the hazard game, I think it's lost for me. But I thought I would run this Bramble Ghast. I got a lot of HP and decent amount of defense and the rest in speed with a Jolly Nature. Um, just because I wanted to be out able to outrun, I think this is outrunning... Um, yeah, Meloetta if they're a plus attack or plus like special attack. And then we're outrunning Arbok every time. We also have Snorlax on this team because they have some huge special threats. Um, mainly that Meloetta and the Delphox, but also a special Flygon kind of goes crazy into me without this thing. But we're just a Body Slam, Cursed Rest, Earthquake set with a Resto Chesto. A thick fat just so we don't take very much to that Delphox we can always switch in even if they are like life orb psy shock we still beat them decently well so I mean that's really what this thing is here for it if I can get that thing out of the way um then the rest of my team goes crazy if I can get like the Cobalion out of the way then this Snorlax goes crazy against their team so I mean it really just depends on what's gonna happen um but I could easily see myself like winning with Snorlax, but I could also see myself just like throwing it away because it's really bad in the matchup. I've also got uh, Tauros Paldea Combat with the Mirror Herb Intimidate set, Close Combat, Earthquake, Iron Head, and Facade. Uh, this thing can steal the sm Shell Smash from that Dreadnought. Dalkos, I cannot talk, man. It can steal um, Speed Boost from Morpico. It can steal Boost from um, Flygon. It can steal like, I don't know, if Cobalion is going to boost itself or something. Um, I can even steal like rapid spin boosts from Serena, um, which is really nice. But if I do um, see Dreadnought, this is my guaranteed switch in. And if they shell smash on my switch, then I'll get boosted and be able to probably just be able to destroy them, probably sweep the entire thing, especially with Terrified in close combat. It looks insane to their team. We also have Earthquake and Iron Head um, and Facade in case we get burned. We also have a Choice Scarf, Alolan Ninetales with Freeze Dry, Moon Blast, Dark Pulse, and Ice Beam. This thing looks really good. Um, I'm assuming that they're probably going to bring like a Scarf Delphox uh, or Scarf Flygon. So this mod's really good. It'll outspeed their entire team. Um, barring like a Scarf Whimsicott, which I don't see coming. I mean, yeah, I don't think that thing comes at all. Um, 
but I mean, we hit their team really hard. Ice Beam is great into like their double grass types plus Flygon. It's also just really good like stab. Um, Moonblast is completely free into their team. They only have like two switch-ins, which is the Delphox and the Arbok. Um, we also have Dark Pulse, which hits that Delphox. It also hits like a Terra Ghost Shellgon or something like that. Um, it can also hit Meloetta if they don't Terra. So I felt like this is a really good Mon that I need versus their team. And I decided to go max speed just in case they have like a plus one, um, plus one Cobalion. I just want to be able to outrun that because I am base 109 and they are base 108. And then last up, I brought Iron Thorns again. A rock and a Focus Sash Dragon Dance set with Earthquake, Iron Punch, and Supercell Slam. Uh, Supercell Slam does a million percent to almost every member of their team. Um, but at plus one, we one shot most of the mods on their team with Earthquake, Ice Punch, Supercell. At plus two, um, we should be outspeeding most Scarfers and we will be just destroying everything on their team. Um, I don't think a single thing can live um, besides potentially um, Shellgon if we're at plus two. Obviously, they can burn their Terra to get that over with, but if they burn their Terra early, then I'm feeling fine because I don't have to worry about like a Terra Grass Dreadnought, um, you know, shell smashing on me or like Meloetta being super annoying. But yeah, I mean. I feel like this Mon it could be a really good win con. It could also just be something that I lead off with to try to chip their team down because getting that chip for like Ninetales, getting it for Tauros or for Yanmega is really important. Um, but I mean, I could really see it using, using it in any of those roles. Uh, but that's going to be about it for the team builder. Like I said, this is a really bad matchup for me. I wasn't 100% sure what to bring. Um, I mean, they seem pretty worried about it, but I'm also worried. Just like looking at their team, they have some pretty insane stuff that I hate to deal with. Um, but yeah, let's uh, see what happens in the battle. <laughs> All right, we're connected here to Wolf. They brought, they bring the Meloetta. They brought the Shellgon. Okay, I thought they might bring it. Um, and the Arbok. They actually brought a lot of interesting stuff. So they bring the Serena. No Delphox is really nice. Um, and then no Dreadnought. So I don't have to worry about any shell smashing or anything. Um, that is kind of annoying for um, for my mirror herb, though. All right, I I'm sure they brought the Shellgon to wall my on Mega. I do think it does a pretty good job at that. Um, I could just go Nine Tails. I feel like it does pretty good into their team, except for that Cobalion. Actually, I'm gonna lead with Tauros. This thing could be a fun lead. I want to save my thorns in the back. I have a spin, so uh, I'm not too pressed. They do have like most of the Terra Captains, except for the one I thought they would bring. I did really think that they could bring Shellgon, though. I thought the Terra Ghost on that thing looks pretty good in me. Um, and honestly, I forget. We're, we are running Poltergeist, okay. We do have Poltergeist, so we can probably handle that thing decently well since they should be EB lighted up. Let's see what they end up leading off with. Could be Cobalion. It, it ends up being Flygon, okay. So we're Tauros to Flygon. All right, we get the Intimidate off. If they're special, then it's annoying. Um, I could just Terra Fighting right now. And if I Terra Fighting, this thing has a chance to just straight up die. Um, but I'm not going to do that. I think I'm just going to raw close combat them. I outspeed. They are not fast. They are slow. It does not that much either. They're breaking swipe. Okay. They do 60 with that. What kind of set is this thing? Leftovers. They like max HP something. How much did Breaking Swipe do? It did 60? I mean... I don't know, it looks like they're just like max attack. They could be adamant. And just like max HP as well. Or maybe some mix of HP and special defense and speed and stuff. Interesting. Yeah, we should knock him out. Well, we're minus one now. Four minus one. I don't know. It's gonna be a roll here. 
I'm just gonna CC them again. They protect. Okay, so they're gonna get another leftovers, which is annoying. Waste another PP. But they, they do have a switch into uh, Arbok if they want it. I definitely don't hate the Arbok. They also probably live this. Hmm, I'm thinking about going into my Bramblegast. Because they're not really going to do very much. We're going to get a Rocky Helmet hit, and then Power Whip or Poltergeist is really good into their team. Let's go Bramble. Not a great start for me, but I know that they're not fast. They do withdraw. Maybe Arbok? They go, nah. It is the Arbok, okay. Which is Intimidate. So I'm minus one attack, not doing too much. I'm actually still doing half of the Poltergeist. This does a lot. Really just depends on what kind of set they are. They're gonna withdraw, probably go out to Meloetta. They go to Vicky, I think that's Meloetta. Yeah, that's a good read. And then, like, if their choice specs, Psychic will probably take me out. It's a roll. From what I'm seeing. And, like, Power Up doesn't do very much. I really, I don't know if they're going to be physical or special. The way they bring it in makes me feel like it's special. So I'm going to go Snorlax. This could be a mistake. If they, like, Focus Blast this turn, then that's crazy. They Psy Shock, okay. Oh, connection is inter interrupted. Okay, we'll fix that. Wonder what happened there. But, dang, that brought me down to 178? All right, we are back. It took a miracle to recreate this game. Um, but they're like choice specs, I'm pretty sure. Based on the first damage that they did, they're definitely choice specs. Um, they did a million of Psy Shock. So that's really, really bad. Um, Bramble doesn't even eat. Like I just, I literally have to just sack here. There's nothing I can do. I just literally have to sack, which is annoying. And now I'm like, I'm not in a good mood anymore after all that remaking and disconnects and everything. Hopefully it doesn't happen again. Um, but now I should be able to go Yon Mega. And threaten with a Bug Buzz. Psy Shock never takes me out from modest specs. And we just get to be plus one. We'll get a speed boost. We destroyed their team. Um, if they go Shellgon. Then they're like Eviolite. They've got to be like 252, um, you know, with like a careful nature sort of thing. Um, and we won't do too much here. But I mean, that should be their play. But we'll get to plus one at least. And then we can click Air Slashes versus them or just Terra. They do withdraw. Oops, for some reason, I took off their Meloetta. My bad. I gotta take off to my Snorlax. They just go out to Flygon, actually. I don't knock him out, but I'll get my Throat Spray. And I'll get a boost to my uh, my speed, so that's nice. I'll always get a kill here. If they do bring in Shellgon, like, I just try to flinch that thing. Yeah. Okay, we take out the Flygon. That's really nice. So we're one for one. I think Shellgun probably comes in here. If it's Cobalion, that's like crazy. Because Terra Ground, uh, Terra Blast destroys them. Even if they're like Assault Vest, unless they're like max HP and a lot of special defense. Um, I also take out Arbok as well. So their only play is really that Shellgun. Oh, they bring in this thing. What? I'm plus one. 
They're modest specs. If they're like just max HP, then I have a roll to kill here anyways. Um, I'm just gonna go for it. If I was Terra Bug, then this would be perfect. But I think that, that was a huge misplay on their side. I don't know if they saw my throat spray activate. Or they probably don't know I'm modest. I don't know. They're Terra Fairy, duh. Terra Fairy. And they just knocked me out with a Psychic. I'm just playing bad. Oh well. I should have air slashed. Or protected. I really wanted to protect. We do like nothing. <laughs> we do a quarter. And they psychic. This is gonna easily take me out. Yeah, I'm just playing like absolute trash right now. I'm just flustered after the stupid disconnect. Um, their choice locked into psychic now. Hmm. I don't know, man. I could just go like Bramble and click Power Whip, get a lot of chip off, and then, you know, play this late game or this end game like I'm trying to sweep. I also go Tauros and click Iron Head. Actually, Tauros, Iron Head is my play. If they want to go like Arbok here, that's fine. I'm just going to click this. They could expect to Terra Poison. I should do a really good chunk, though. I just need to get into a position where I can uh, sweep with my, uh, my Iron Treads. Or Iron Thorns, that's what I meant. Go Arbok. So I'm minus one. Um, it does absolutely nothing. This thing is super defensive. This thing is insanely defensive. I don't really think it can touch me. I'm minus one, but I think I just Earthquake here. They might set up Toxic Spikes, which are really annoying, but I can spin them. As they do T-Spike. I thought they might. It's a, probably a roll to knock him out here, depending on the actual set. He might not be max max. If he's not, we knock him out. Of course, he's got stupid protect again. <laughs> Come on. It's, it's whatever. I'll just spin him away. My spinner outspeeds everything on their team, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> um... I'm thinking about Iron Heading here, to be completely honest, or close combating. Like, if they go Serena. I'm just gonna EQ, though. If they go Serena, it's fine. I think that's probably what they're doing. Go Lil Bro. This is Shellgon. So I guess they're gonna get their Terra Goats up. Yeah. And I think that's... I don't know, they might be specially defensive. I cannot tell. Um, but I can just go Bramble. If they tear a Ghost, um, so if they're Ghost, and I go to Bramble, like, I have, I, I could just click Power Whip or Poltergeist. Like, Poltergeist is super good. Let's go Bramble. And if they don't Terra, then that's fine as well. But I'm assuming that they do. No, they just Dragon Tail. They actually hit it too. Hurt them with a Rocky. Just don't bring in my stupid treads. Thorns. Dang it. Bro, this messes up everything. This is the worst thing that could have happened. They're so lucky. Whatever, I'm just, I'm gonna go out to my Ninetales. I guess everyone's getting poisoned. At this point, I might as well not even spin it so I can facade. I'm 
pretty tilted. They Dragon Tail, no Terra. Um, but we just go like Nine Tails. Moonblast does an insane amount of damage. Um, I also could just Dark Pulse or Ice Beam. Um, but I'm thinking that they Terra Ghost, so that's why I was thinking to Dark Pulse. So if they do Terra Ghost, then, I mean, it's doing a pretty similar amount to Moonblast. I'm just gonna do it. They withdraw. They probably go Arbok. No, they go Terry. That's the Serena. They're probably, uh, Salt Vest. Yeah. Okay, man. Very, very Assault Vest. If I just clicked Ice Beam there, then I'm 2 at KOing them. It's a dumb play. Uh, but I go Bramble here. I'm really upset that I got Dragon Tailed out into the one mod. Alright, we have recreated yet again. Uh, this time Iron Thorns is a poison though, which is awesome. So I'm going Bramble. Every time. As they Synthesis, that's fine. Um, I can spin. Which is exactly what I'm going to do. If they want to... Um, if they want to Triple Axle, that's fine. I'm Rocky. They do. Okay. We're going to do a million percent back to them. And then we'll knock them out with an Ice Beam next. Ice Beam is great versus their team. The only thing they have is Cobalion. Um, I could also just uh, go Close Combat. Which is really good. Or I probably shouldn't set up with Iron Thorns. I think I go Tauros here. And I'm just gonna click CC. It's completely free. If they go Arbok, that's fine. I just Earthquake the next turn. All this rebuilding has me pretty flustered and upset. They go straight Shellgon, that's interesting. They take 30. I'm fine with this taking damage, to be honest. Um, I'm gonna... Hmm. I guess I just go for another one. So they go into Arbok. And at this point, I should knock them out with EQ. They could go Serena. They could also go Serena now. But they go Shellgon. So, I mean, I'm just getting damage off. I'm gonna go Ninetales this turn. They might switch, or they just rest. That's fine by me. I'm completely fine with that. And now Moonblast gets a kill, I think. They're obviously like Eviolite and really bulky, so this thing doesn't die, especially not the Terra. They go Meloetta. All right, no Spatak drop, which is annoying. Uh, but we can still win with Thorns. So that's what I'm going for. That's my end game. Do get the drop there and they Psychic. All right, with the drop, is it worth going now? I still get two at KO'd. So I'm just gonna go Tauros and literally just like click buttons until this thing dies. Um, I'll EQ here in case they go Arbok. Yep, good play, good play, good play. They live on four, unfortunately. Um, I'm gonna Iron Head this turn as they go Serena, so that's a good play as well. And then we outspeed them for sure. Um, the close combat will kill Arbok as well. Yeah, so we claim our kill. We're minus one, they go Arbok. They could protect. I'm just gonna EQ. It's great into the rest of their team as they let it go down. That's fine, and then they go Cobalion. I'm gonna do 50% to you at least with this. Their iron defense. And I just crit right through it. Awesome. Awesome. And I think I just win now. That crit is huge. Um, yeah. The crit is absolutely huge. And I'm pretty sure Iron Thorns wins now. Now, would Iron Thorns have won versus that thing? If they're like a bulky thing? 
Maybe. Probably not. I don't know. So I could always Dragon Dance. If they're only like plus two defense um, on that thing, then I think I can beat it. But I don't really know. Now I'm just going to CC here until I die. <laughs> I let this thing die. I could still lose, technically. I never want my Sash to be broken, though. I just want to die. They're Dragon Dance on this thing? Oh my goodness. I do get the flinch that turn. Maybe I just go Thorns. I am gonna go Thorns. They should not Dragon Tail here. Okay, this turn they might. So I'm gonna go out into Tauros, as they do Tail. Um, here I Ice Punch, they Dragon Dance. So I get the right play on them. I get a Freeze. Wow. I mean, that's unfortunate. All right, I'm a DD up as well. They have to be really upset. I understand. But I'm going to take advantage of it and get a Dragon Dance up. I should be able to knock him out here. The last one did 29. They're definitely like physically bulky. So at plus one, I th should Oko. Yeah, I do. And we take it home in a Haxy match. That was stupid to say the least um i mean with all the disconnects and stuff it is what it is i say i'm done with draft league it, it was unfortunate i do think that they cannot really win with even dragon and shell gone i don't know i don't know if they can win with dragon and shell gone even at like plus three how much is Dragon Tail doing? It's not even doing 50 to my Iron Thorns. I always have time to at least get one Dragon Dance up, which puts me faster than them, and I do a lot of damage. Um, and as long as I get some chip on them, as long as they're not like really healthy, then I'm fine. If they rest, then I'm also fine. I can just Dragon Dance and uh, sweep them. So really unfortunate week, but it is what it is. Um, but a good game nonetheless. Uh, yeah, I guess we're 5-0. We're first place, but that's about it for this week. See you guys in the next one.